Stitch Yang. Welcome, welcome back to another video with the Stitch Live. Another travel vlog, another solo travel vlog with the Stitch Live. So we are in Nola, baby. We in New Orleans, baby. We in New Orleans, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so of course, it's going to be another travel vlog. Definitely stay tuned to keep on watching to see what we get into. It's my very first time in New Orleans. And of course, I'm bringing you guys along. Of course, I'm bringing you guys along. So definitely stay tuned before we start this New Orleans travel vlog. Make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below, subscribe down below as well to become a part of the Stitch Gang, and also be sure to follow me on my socials. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube. Everything is at the Stitch Life, so make sure you guys follow me down below. I'll leave the handle right here as well on the screen. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So today is Friday. You guys already saw the room tour. I like to just start the vlog off the room tour. So I'm staying at the Sander at the Jung Hotel. So there is a hotel and then the sander is a part of the hotel. One side is the hotel, the other side is the sander. So you guys saw I have a pretty big space, bigger than my spot in Miami. If you guys didn't watch my last travel vlog, <laughs> make sure you guys check that out. That was literally last week. Y'all are probably like, girl, how did you just come back from Miami? Yeah, and did, and did what? <laughs> Listen, I'm maximizing my days off until work starts again. So we in NOLA with it. So, I've already checked in. You guys already saw the sauna. Very big space. It gives like hotel vibes, like extended stay a little bit because you see I have a full kitchen. But I um, don't know if we're going to be using that because I'm here to eat. I'm here to eat. I'm here to drink. And I'm here to explore. Okay? So, yeah. Just be, just know you, that's what you're in store for for this vlog. So, once I touch down, I had to be on go because I reserved for the Sazerac house. So, that's where we're going to go check out today. My reservation is 4.15 and I literally was supposed to check in at Four, but I used the key the access code and I was able to get in right at three so they don't know that but the access code worked I was able to get in so, <laughs> so yeah we're headed to the Sazerac house and then I'm most likely gonna get food if I'm being honest this is filmed after I came back from doing today's running arounds because I had to hit the round of running but yeah let's go ahead and get into it and then we'll catch back up Gotta go, y'all. This is my quick outfit. I'm gonna show you guys it later, but we gotta go. We're headed to the side of Rock House. I just checked in. Shout out with everything. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. So, yeah, that's the first stop, and then we're gonna head to get something to eat. So, yeah, a oh, Walgreens is over here. I need to go to Walgreens. It's, it's me always needing to go to a drugstore when I touch it down. I don't like that for me. I know it's used in perfume. A lot of these are used in perfume, especially the bergamot. Can you smell it? He was the first brandy trader to export to America. Drink of the 
This is when I get interested because we talking about rum. You already know how the Caribbeans give it up. We use our young wolf Barbados rum, simple syrup, and freshly squeezed lemon juice Thank for this you. drink. It's called the Santa Cruz Sour. Yep. It tastes like a lemon drop. Yeah, it does. It's, it's like <laughs> almost like a rum lemon drop. I think mm -hmm. it's the best way I've ever described it. Happy that braces good. for me, sweeties. I may have to take that recipe down. <laughs> Get the rest of the But this is made with rum. And you know, we got lots of rum at home. Mm. This is so funny because if you know the Killian's Angel Share, you know. Like, you know. Wow. Maybe that's the inspiration behind the name of the perfume. Let's see. Let's do Guyana's Rum. Guyana, big up yourself. Let's get a cocktail. Okay. This sounds like a martini because there's vermouth in it. But it's made with rum. Hmm. Actually, I think this is what I'm having right now. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is what I'm having. Vermouth, lemon juice, simple syrup, sugar. Yeah, I think this is what this is, the lemon drop. Yup, and is. Yup, yup, yup. This kind of looks like um, the Casamigos logo, but that's just the, um, not mezcal, that's the um, agave. That's the agave plant. This is good too. This one's with vodka and bitters. Lemon juice and simple syrup. This is also good. It kind of tastes like a lemon drop, but not really. I gotta finish my drink though. Yeah, I vlog. Hey! Hey, vlog. Make sure you, make sure you guys come to the Cesar right house. Come make sure y'all come to Cesar right house and see me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Ask you like, oh, let me finish my drink. Can you tell me to finish it? Yeah, oh, yeah, take the Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> this is the distillery. It smells like corn in here because you know they use that to make some of the spirits. It smells like popcorn, really. If you know, you know, I'm going to get a pin every time. Question is, which one? This is too big. Probably this one, the Sazerac. This one? I can show you my outfit. This is what I'm wearing, y'all, today. Top Target, skirt, garage, bag, Gucci, um, glasses, Tom Ford, sandals, Zara. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get some oysters, um, charcoal oysters. Well, I got a tosti I want to get back in the crib, but that's another story. But. Heaven. Heaven. Other than there, a place think, on earth. I thank you from heaven, baby. I thank you for heaven. I thank you from heaven. Okay. You know, that's where all the angels are. You know? <laughs> it's too fake, profit. I'm going to be What's up, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Shepherds come out at night. Okay. Shepherds come out at night. Shepherds come out. <laughs> okay, no. come what on, you were supposed to make that. You were supposed to make that. <laughs> come on, oh, oh, okay. There we go. That's my executive chef. Jamaica, Jamaica. That's my executive chef. How are you doing? I'm good. How you doing? You're good. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. I need no I whole staff today. Hey, I'm trying to tell her we got someone on the menu called Chef. Oh, yeah? Thank you for the motherfucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? I was looking for it. I'm like, where are yeah, you at? Bro. Give me here. Nah. <laughs> Give me here. So, Chuck Nunn, Chuck, and Boyd, let me see. Chuck Nunn, Chuck, and Boyd, let me see. 
walking back to the telly um i'm so full <laughs> and i have my drink with me still and i'm like i can barely drink this because i'm so full <sighs> i wanted to take the streetcar but i gotta figure out how that work first do i gotta pay like what, what, what do i gotta like i don't know yet can i cross fuck it i'm going with the i'm going with the white people but they gonna cross regardless of if they can or not yep we know it. There's a lot of people out here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this car is so nice. Look at this car. So, I haven't really been taking out my camera because I'm trying to. I've been kind of trying to just feel the splatter, feel the place out first before like pulling my camera out. But I want to take a picture of this car. Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, we are back in the crib as you guys can see. So today we went to Felix's Oyster Bar. I think that's what it's called. And then I just sat upstairs right well it was like adjacent to felix's oyster bar just because i wanted to get like an aerial view as i told you guys of um bourbon street so very very um how do i describe bourbon street it was my first time so it was very very interesting very very interesting like you see a lot of um creatives on the street you see a lot of the musicians on the street on the street you see people playing chess you see people playing you see people with their instruments giving us some jazz very very interesting street but i don't know i felt like it was just too much for me all in one day but i would like to go back if i have time i don't know but i do want to check out i think it's frenchman street they said that is more like a com it's more of a commerce street i feel like i would appreciate bourbon more if i was with people if i were with friends but it was just like too much for me all at once but um i enjoyed it nonetheless but it was just i'm just if i could be honest with y'all it was just overwhelming for me all in one day um maybe it's because i also came in today i've been running around i didn't really eat it was just a lot for me but i did enjoy it i did tip some people on the road i saw some kids drumming and you know i'm always going to support the kids so i did um tip a few people while i was out there but um i had plans i didn't even realize yeah i didn't realize that i had i made reservations to go to um 
desires oyster bar and i didn't realize until i was leaving um felix's when i got the reservation update from open table like hey you're like 15 you're like three minutes away from desire and i was like oh shoot i forgot that i went that i made reservations for somewhere else so i don't know if we'll touch desire at some point during the vlog but it was on my list as well i have a couple i know if y'all know your og triple h you know i always create a whole list of things i want to do people i want to see <laughs> places i want to be for my trip so maybe we'll be able to go back to desire but just rating felix's the char broiled oysters are really good i rate them like a i rate them like a 8.5 very well seasoned for sure the etouffee and it's funny because i asked someone for recommendations and they told me that it was it was everything they said it was good but you know the workers always want to say everything is good that was mid there was a guy that came that i was sitting next to i don't know if i showed him in the vlog not sure but i was sitting next to him and he's been going there for 20 years he's like the go-to is a half a poor boy and the rice with red beans and i was like damn i wish you were here when i was ordering because i'd have gotten that and i don't know if you guys saw but my <laughs> waiter shucker chuck i don't know if that's his real name or it just went well with his um it just went well with his role i guess but um yeah <laughs> he was cool as well i tried the bread pudding because of him and that was really good he also gave me like raw oysters to try as well and those were good he made me like some special sauce and that was really good so i recommend checking them out because they definitely give you dinner and a show that's what was it, that was his motto the whole time you're gonna get dinner and a show with chuck dinner and a show so i recommend checking it out but i just wanted to go outside and like, kind of like sit up top just to see people walking by and you know listen to the music i stopped into another place really quickly too to listen to see some jazz some live music being played <laughs> I would tell y'all today what we doing tomorrow, but when you wake, when we wake up together, you're going to see what we doing tomorrow. And I'm very excited. So I need to start like winding up, winding down for tonight. I might check back in. I might not. But um, as you guys saw today, I didn't even have time to do makeup or nothing like that. And I'm not going to lie, I brought my makeup, but it's going to be like a hundred and something degrees this whole time that I'm here, child. So I'm definitely going to pull it out, but we're going to really see. <laughs> we're gonna really see what Fenty has to work with we're gonna really see what Patrick Ta has to work with Patrick Star has to work with cause it's gonna be hot not every day I'm gonna wear makeup but some days I wanna like get my pictures and stuff so I will wear a little makeup tomorrow's gonna be hot and I kinda went it's gonna it's supposed to be like 100 degrees tomorrow y'all yeah 100 degrees tomorrow but we're gonna hit the road early in the morning so I'm excited so again I don't know if I'll check back in tonight but definitely manana and oh, I forgot to tell you guys, there's only one TV in here. Normally my Saunders, if you guys know, I always stay in Saunders. Normally my Saunders have a TV in the bedroom. This one doesn't. I don't know if it's because this is like a hotel. I'm not sure. But I'm not used to the TV not being in the bedroom. And typically like it's fine with me because I don't need the TV to go to sleep. I sleep in darkness, just, just me. <laughs> I might be that old where like I have I need silent sleep. But like I want to watch a little something before bed. It's a good thing about my iPad. But anyway, I'll catch y'all later. We are going on a gator hunt. We going on a gator hunt. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. We're kind of scared just a little bit, just a little bit. But I wanted to bring you guys OOTD. Yesterday's OOTD happened at the Sazerac house because y'all know when I checked in, I literally had to get ready and get out of here. Like I literally barely made it to the Sazerac house. But um, 
Today I'm giving you guys a I'm ready. Uh, I'm today I'm giving you guys a OOTD. So let's get into it. I need, I don't have a watch. <laughs> I looked, but I don't have a watch on because I only brought my gold watch and I'm wearing silver accessories today. So I have about 10 minutes until I'm gonna get picked up. And he's already been texting me like, make sure you're outside, make sure you're outside. Never confirm which party. So let's get into the OOTD. We're going to see the alligators today. I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous because. I don't, I'm not trying to get wet. Y'all see I have shorts. We'll get into it. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So, does this look good, y'all? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the footage. I feel like this is not that great. So, OOTD, let's get into it for you guys to see me. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the outfit of the days. But my glasses are Celine. Shirt is from Amazon. I purchased it because I knew what was going on. Uh, an alligator hunt. I was about to say, if they're on all my teachers and stuff y'all already know the song my parents i know the song going on a bear hunt going on a bear hunt we're going on an alligator hunt today my shirts are from zara they're old my bag is from zara also like four years old three years old and i'm wearing my sambas so that's what we're wearing today and then jewelry i have on mostly shein um aliexpress primark and aliexpress as well these are also from shein and i think i told you guys my glasses are Celine. But yeah, that's what we're wearing. And then this is the fragrance of the day. It's the Seven Virtues Blackberry Lily. So I feel like it's a clean, earthy, citrusy, floral scent. So that's what we're wearing. How y'all feel about the outfit? How y'all feel about the outfit? I need to film one of these for um, TikTok. So BRB. I'll catch you guys when we're downstairs because it's almost that time. So y'all. Yeah. Pickup time is 8 o'clock. Well, 7.55. It's 7.54 um, right now. But it's really 8 o'clock. I'm the first one. So he's like, I'm going to be there at 7.55. Okay, but the pickup time is 8 o'clock. So give me a chance to get downstairs. I still got a minute. But um, it's the Big Joe. Good morning. I'm Big Joe with Cajun Pride and Zip Nola. We ain't doing no zip over no alligators. Well, not, not But we are going to do the um, boat. So let's go it downstairs there's like nobody up <laughs> but i am and we're ready to go see the gate so let's go listen it's not even eight o'clock yet and it's hot as hell out here <laughs> let me see if i find this guy gonna go over to Crondolin. So every one of them swaps names as you cross Canal Street. This is usually my breakfast street right here. Mm. So this is Charters. We'll go to cross it once the lake lets me loose. Uh, look down to the right, you'll see the St. Louis Cathedral Church down at the end of it, but it's called Charter Street. I uh, saw trades. Uh, it's called Charters. And just down to the right, I was telling her about it earlier, the Florida League Cafe. That's usually my breakfast spot. And they do make good beignets. They also have breakfast. Also right down here, you're gonna see Daisy Dukes. Mina's with that open sign down there. All kind of good breakfast streets down, uh, breakfast restaurants down that way. These people do not pay me for their advertisement. I like food. If I send y'all somewhere, it's because I like it. Mm -hmm. Nobody gave me a laundry list of things to tell you how to, come, uh, to go sh check out. If I like something, I'll talk about it. If I don't, I won't. Mm -hmm. Royal Street. He's like this one right here. See the poles holding up that up there? Mm -hmm. That's a gallery. It's not a balcony. Oh. Now over here to the right, you're going to end up seeing this beautiful architecture up top. This was actually a Maison Blanche Mall before it was the Ritz Carlton. So oh, wow. if you look over here at the top of the Ritz Carlton sign, you're going to see 5, 10, 25 cent store. Mm. All the way up to the top presses, but you're going to see all those beautiful columns built into the building right there. Wow. Now for Katrina, everybody wants to know about Katrina, 2005. Basically this area, French Quarter over here to the right, barely flooded. Got enough water to get into the bottom floors and that's about it. Over here to the left, not so much. Basically that area over there, we're about a floor and a half of water over there. Wow. So even though it looks like it's really dead even, it's not. Nine feet above sea level, that's going to be 15 feet to 20 feet below sea level. Mm -hmm. So even though it doesn't look like that much of a difference, it really is. Watch with the, where the crawdads sing, you already know. 
of it. Don't worry about the mosquito repellent. Usually got mosquitoes out there right now anyway. But if you start paying attention, you probably see a whole lot of dragonflies flying around. Dragonflies you got on nose do eat the mosquitoes. So that's a good Looks pretty daggone real. So we're here at Cajun Pride Swamp Tours. I think it starts at 9.30, but I'm just walking around the property. Haven't seen any gators yet. <laughs> but um, we are here and it is already hot, but he told us not to worry about um, mosquitoes because there's a lot of dragonflies and they eat them. So I'm happy to hear about that. Um, oh, what is that? But, um, is he? Oh, he's cutting up the chicken of me. It's a cute little property though. I'm loving the plants. You already know me. If you're not, not new here, I love plants. Some of these are a little, you know, charred because it's very hot out here. But um, it's a beautiful day nonetheless, but it is very hot and it's not even like 10 o'clock yet. It's only 9 o'clock. It's not even 9.30 yet. Um, but I have my fan. I bought some water as well and I bought some of the stuff in the little gift shop. But it's so pretty out here. They told me that during hurricane, I think it was Ida, not many people heard about it, but they got flooded. Like they got a lot of water too. So Katrina was bad, but Ida was also kind of bad for them. So in the front, I don't know if I showed you guys in the front, but um, they're remodeling. So yeah, let me go see what's over here. They're actually really cute. They're so cute. Where the mommy at? Let me get back y'all through this. Oh, look, there's more coming. They're so cute. I don't like them when I see them at my house, but they're cute. Yeah. Over there is a map. That's a mass burial site, y'all. <laughs> you not the actual crock. <laughs> the Cajuns used to stay here. Look at that bathtub right here. Oh, oh wow. There's a few of them. Come on out. Yeah, see these boars? Wow. It's a big old boar. I watched them all swim away. So I thought I was gonna wash my hand right there and they had a little full foot one under the ring. And he bit me too, but he actually made a little mark. Come all the way around the boat, let y'all hold him. Look, hold him by his neck and his tail. Give him a little squeeze, but don't squeeze his belly. You'll get Gatorade. Let's see if I can dry him off a little better. Oh my God. Don't you by yourself? Yeah, it's nice. Oh, mine is recording, Andrew. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We're risking it all today. He told us he got bit a few days ago. Come on. No, not me over here. Look, over here. Come on, come on. Let's go. 
They jump all right. Mm -hmm. Why well, the price them raise that supermarket? So that was fun. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm going to tell you how the price is here. Um, $51 to get picked up at your hotel. I think it was $29 maybe to um, just for the tour, like if you find your way to the Cajun tour location just to start the tour there. But I did hotel pickup as you guys saw. Now I'm just waiting for our guy to come pick us up back up. It's currently 11.07. So still got a whole day ahead of us, but I'm so hot. So I'll check in probably when we get back to the hotel. But yeah. So your girl is back and she already changed. She's already ready to go back on the road. Honestly, it's later than I wanted it to be. <laughs> it's like about to be noon, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked my um, clock. I haven't checked the clock, but I'm about to put my, oh shoot. I'm about to put my watch on. I forgot that I didn't put it on this morning. It's in my pants pocket. But I changed to something else really quickly because I was not even, like I was, my face was sweating. My body wasn't sweating. Like my face was hot because it was so hot out there. But it takes me a little while to sweat. So I just freshened up a little bit, touched up my face just a little bit, added some more powder. And um, applied, reapplied my SPF on my body. And I changed it to my outfit. So I'll show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing. Hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm still trying to figure out like the setup. When I looked at the footage for this morning's outfit, it wasn't bad. But I don't know if I like that. So I'm going to try to do that for you guys as well. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. This just so happened to like come together. I was going to wear the dress on its own. But I realized that this top looked good with it. So I'll show you guys that. And then we're going to head out. My plan for the day... Hold up. Because what is happening? So my plan for the day is to check out the aquarium. I also want to get something to eat. So I think I'm going to get food first. Probably pull boy. Probably get a pull boy. I think I really want a pull boy. And then we're going to head to the aquarium. I also want to see the French market. And I want to um, check out Frenchman's Street as well. I think that's what it's called. And I don't know what else we're going to do. I know it's supposed to go up to 100 excuse me i know it's supposed to go up to 100 degrees today and y'all are probably like why are you wearing this but it is breathable because it's knitted and i could always take it off and tie it around my waist as well i just want to didn't want to be too exposed like in new york i'm fine but in another place i don't know yet i don't know how because i've realized like the the guys out here real they're definitely guys <laughs> just say that they're definitely real gentlemen i'll just say that but um but i'm not like in a provocative way but you know you know you know, I'm not used, like in New York, we're not used to that. Hi, beautiful, how are you? We just keep walking. Like, here, I'm trying to be nice because I'm by myself. And that's just how New York culture is. Like, we just, we don't got time. Like, the girls just want to keep on walking. So here, they're real nice. Some are flirty and stuff, but I'm trying not to cause too much attention because, you know, I'm solo. So I just put this on. But um, if I was in New York, I would have worn this on its own, dress on its own. But I'm chatting now. So let me show you guys my outfits and let's get on the road and you guys will see what we're doing i'm gonna try to bring my tripod today because y'all know me i bring my tripod i take my own pictures we're gonna do that so i would like to prop it up on frenchman street but i don't know yeah because i'm not trying to draw too much attention to myself and everybody's out in that area that bourbon street area so we'll see but i am gonna bring my tripod because we're gonna get some pictures today for sure so let's go how is this? Is this better? Hopefully it is. Y'all are probably just going to get outfits every single day in a new spot until I find somewhere I like. But this is what I'm wearing for the day. So my top, this perforated holy, is from Target. It's from the Future Collective collab. And then I have this dress on. It's really like one of those satin lingerie, more so like bedtime dresses that you guys know. If you know, you know the Soho girlies have been wearing these with sneakers. So 
um, brought, so I brought mine out. I was gonna again wear it on a song, but I decided to wear it with this top. Bag is sorry, you guys saw it this morning, and I just kept on my Sambas, and then my glasses are the same silly ones that I was wearing earlier. So let me see if I can back that. So yeah, really see the fit. So yeah, that's what we're wearing, and I'm going to put my watch on and put my rings back on because I actually just realized that I didn't put those on. But yeah, let's go. So I'm at Nola Po Boys, yeah. Okay, so I took the streetcar, right? But I took it to one location and he told me I had to wait for another streetcar to come. There were like 20 of us waiting out there. The app said it was coming in 20 minutes or whatever. And this other girl, she said it was coming in 10 on her thing. It did not come at all. I don't know, it probably came after I left. But I was just like, it's too hot. I'm literally sweating. So I just decided to take an Uber and then I'm near French Market, so. I'm near French Market, so um, I'm just gonna go there after. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to see the Mississippi River and then probably go back to the aquarium. Cause I, I was near the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> I was near the aquarium but I wanted to eat first because I hadn't eaten and I'm trying to like get like three meals in okay like I missed breakfast already this morning so I need to maximize my eats my eateries out here so you know I wanted to stop and get food first and then we're gonna do the walking and exploring and then get food again later on so okay. let's see let's see let's see So we made it to the market. Y'all probably can't even see me. Mm. We made it, y'all. It's hot, so just enjoy. <laughs> Come on now. This is the first Roman Catholic church I think in New Orleans. It's beautiful. Extraordinary, y'all. But let's go look at this Mississippi, Mississippi River. 
my camera is slowly falling apart like it's so hard for me to talk to y'all and it's too damn hot <sighs> but we pushing through y'all we pushing through am i ssi ssi ppi that's how y'all learned to spell the mississippi river am i ssi ssi ppi wow Honestly, Nola has been on my list for a minute, mostly for the food. But just the beauty of this is crazy. We learned about this in textbooks, if y'all really think about it. It's just crazy. That I'm here now seeing it. Wow. I'm so hot I want to jump in this water and I would never. Maybe I'll touch the pool at my Airbnb, but. Or Sonder. It's so hot, y'all. Oh my goodness. body of water and I feel like I still have oh, let me put that in my hair I feel like I still have um, sugar powder sugar in my fingers I'm not gonna lie um cafe Dumont is very much so I I mean the beignets are I've had Zeppelin's before is damn near the same thing in my opinion like I worked at Olive Garden and I feel like Olive Garden's Zeppelin's were better than those they're right like don't get me wrong it's good to try if you wanted to but they're okay Unpopular opinion, maybe, I don't know, but they're right. But I heard um, from the locals that Dumont is better than Cafe Beignet because they're the OGs. And you always gotta trust the local. Of course, there's other beignet places that I found while doing my research, but I wanted to try the OGs, so we went there. And I'm just gonna take in this breeze, take in this Mississippi view, Mississippi River view, and then I'm gonna try to head over to the aquarium, which is indoor. <laughs> Oh my god which is indoor so we will be we will be under air conditioning so i'm excited about that but yeah that's what we're doing right now it's currently i feel like my whole face is just like it's currently 3 49. So, yeah. sephora i came in for the pink shivashi they don't have it either i'm told her so my face is done she's like it's so good i'm like girl you don't got to lie to me i used to work at sephora <laughs> This feels so good. I might need this. I had to get out the heat, y'all. Hopefully, I can see. <laughs> As I don't have the screen flipped up because, child, we need a new camera sponsor. But um, I'm walking through the mall now because, whoo, child, it is hot as hell. I'm trying to find the aquarium, but they have a lot of nice stores in here. I see um, Tiffany and Co. I see Zags. I see Louis Vuitton. So it's cute. I might have to come and check this out maybe tomorrow. I don't know yet. Little water fountain. We got G Star. Oh my god, they have a Golden Goose store here. I might have to come back. Not that I need to be buying anything. But, um, they told me to check out the sacks for the powder. But I want to use get it from Sephora so I can get my points. But um Golden Goose store is cute. We saw them this morning though. Look at the crawfish. I'm just waiting to be boiled. Nah, I'm joking. That's OG. But look at the crawfish. They're so cute. That's the fiddle leaves for me. Do y'all see these plants? Come on now. All real plants. Yeah. They're so cute, the little duckies. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Ow! How you doing? What it do, baby boo? What's up? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It is so cute. She's telling me touch him. You're not supposed to grab it. Trying to touch a stingray. But they ain't coming up top. Look at my favorites, y'all. They just chilling on top of each other. The sharks. Oh my god. What's happening? 
Aren't you tired? Wake up. Oh, there's one right there. Come on, get down on it. Come on. Get down on it. What are these? They look like catfish. What is that? It's the Monsteria for me. These are cute too. I don't remember what these are called. The Cathy's. The Calatheas. Got a few potuses at home. Come on now. It's beautiful in here. Yes, I feel air conditioning. So far, having a great time. So sweaty. But there's AC down here, so I'm a little happy. Oh, great Mayan Reef. I already see the end quote behind the name. I think these are the king lion fish or something like that. Let me see if I'm correct. Let me see. Where's the name at? Yup, lion fish. Your girl's a real Pisces. Don't play with her. She's not one of them. Something bit his hand, or his fin, <laughs> not his hand, like he's a person. Look <laughs> at another one. Y'all out here biting my friend up, I don't like that. These are jellyfish y'all, and they're not dead, but they produce their own food, so they have to lay on their belly to get the light to photosynthesize. That's mad interesting. I want one. The fact that this is where I should have been at this whole day, right outside the aquarium. I want to just run through it, child. I really do. <laughs> I want to be her right now. Giving a streetcar another try, y'all. Because I paid for the three day pass, $8, so I might as well, right? It's funny because they actually have to basically turn, well, not turn the car around, but flip it so they could ride on the opposite track or coming back rather. So that's cool. Hopefully, it don't take forever because I'm hot. <laughs> this is where we walked through earlier. It's cute. But. It's time to head the other way, like back down this way. I know I may have complained about the heat in Miami last week. If you watched my last travel vlog, last week's travel vlog, make sure you guys check it out when I was in Miami. So, Nolan's, <laughs> Nolan's topped them by like a good 30 degrees. So funny, it's so hot in New Orleans right now. But I made it home, I took a well needed shower because I sweat so much today. Like, I sweat in. I'ma spare y'all the visuals, but just know if I gave y'all visuals, they would be very vivid, y'all. Like so hot. But I came home, took a shower, changed. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit real quick. I don't know how I'm feeling it. Like it's alright. When I um purchased this dress, I was like scrolling through Shein and I saw it and I was like, oh I think that kind of would be cute for New Orleans. Now that I have it on, I'm like, I feel like I could work for New Orleans, but it's also kind of given Thailand. I'm gonna wear it because the other dress is giving my body doing my body like skin tight and this one is still pretty snug but it's nowhere near <laughs> how the other dress would fit me fit me when I've tried it on so and the other dress is shorter it's just no this one gives more dinner vibes so I'm gonna show you guys this and then we're gonna head out I don't know what I want because here's the thing when you research when you do your thorough research you have so many restaurants that it comes to the point where you don't even know what to pick from what to choose from but I might 
want to go to Dini's, but when I looked on open table, there were no tables available to reserve. So I don't know. We're just going to see what we find. I feel like I want a really good drink, like a frozen drink or something. It's still very hot. Um, I'm hoping to try to get back so we can go to the pool. I didn't even tell you there's a pool on this complex. So I would like to go to the pool tonight. So yeah, let's head out so we can come back and, you know, enjoy the sky view the roof the rooftop view and everything there so yeah let me show you guys my outfit so we can head out and go get dinner and then come back so hopefully you guys can see me from this angle but um this is the dress that i was talking about the air is also on because it was so hot i had to turn the air on to this disregard but this is the dress i was talking about i feel like it kind of gives me all the box because it has the flowers and the gems and stuff kind of mardi gras type i don't know i just was like whatever i'm gonna wear it since i brought it sandals and our bag is h and m it's kind of old um, my regular jewels and things, some thrifted, some from Forever 21, boutiques, earrings forever, glasses, Tom Ford, and that's the OOTC. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm just going to wear it. But I feel like it's kind of appropriate. I don't know, but the titties with it, so that's what I meant. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, let's head out. I think I'm gonna take the streetcar being that um, it's probably like a stop or two away from where I'm staying right now. So I'm like in like a prime area where I'm able to access a few different spots in New Orleans and New Orleans. So I think I'm just gonna take the streetcar. I think it's two stops near Bourbon Street and then just walk over and see what I can find. But yeah, let's head out. Yeah, I see these rims. This real down south stuff. This is the hurricane, my first hurricane here in Nolan. So let's see. Seafood gumbo to start. Let's see. She did a quick change. I'm headed to the pool. I think it closes in, it closes in like maybe 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily get in, but I'm gonna run the pool back and you guys will see this outfit. I'm not gonna show it to y'all now because it's not giving what it was to give and it's full, you know, glory with everything you got up into. But, um, oh, okay. Alright, we're going up. I'm gonna take a little suit. Hi. So, what's the first ticket for the next one? What is it? Same thing, maybe? I just entered um, an elevator with a, uh, literally a whole elevator full of men. So I have to go there real quick. <laughs> That's kind of funny. This is 17. I feel it's like, I feel like it's on the other. Oh, no, no. It's 17. But why they said 19? It's definitely 17. But yeah, I'm going to run this back. So I'll show it to you guys the outfit when I run it back. But let's head to the pool. Y'all are probably like, sis is moving and growing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting my knees work, okay? See if I can find a pool. Where the hell is that? Let's keep it. Where is the pool? The arrow said this way. I say stairs. I'm so confused. It should not be this confusing. Okay, so I have to go to the stairs to go on another elevator to the 19th floor. So we're on 17 now. We gotta go two more flights. This is different, but um, we on our way. 19. Okay, you know you're still on the right path when you see Sandra, so we good. Don't know if we'll need this, but I'll bring it. Ooh. Okay, let's look little rooftop. Okay. Oh, nice little views of the city now. Ooh, I'm a little scared of heights if you know you know but beautiful views i might have to run this back on um the night before i leave oh there's the other pool that i've been seeing that's another hotel okay let's see 
real cute. I was chopping it up with them ladies over there for like an hour because I got up here like 8 30 but um let's go back. Good morning. There might be a little bit of an echo. Let's chat though shall we? So I did not give up on the camera last night. I was at the pool as you guys saw. So while we get ready let's chat about yesterday. Well I was able to talk to you guys for the most part, like I we went to the swamp. Um, and again, there might be an echo because I'm in the bathroom, but I was able to talk to you guys while I was at the swamp. And once I left the swamp, but I think that's some sugar scrub from my bath or from my shower. But um, I lost the thing I got to fed back on. Yesterday was so hot. Yesterday was literally a hundred and I think three degrees. Let me see. I put on makeup, yeah, so, and I didn't even put on a lot of makeup. I didn't even, yeah, I barely put on makeup yesterday, to be honest. I just put something on for a little coverage, whether, oh, it's 9.20? It's already 90 degrees, y'all, and it's only 9 o'clock. It's going up to 101 yesterday. It doesn't show me what yesterday is. Well, I don't know how to find yesterday's temperature, but it was literally like 103 yesterday. Blazing. <laughs> I told y'all, I was sweating from so many different parts of my body, but we went to the aquarium and what I was saying was that I was trying to find my way to the aquarium. I walked and it was like a, maybe like a 10 minute, like a 15 minute walk from the French market, right? And you guys saw, I stopped real quick. I stopped in four. I was there playing myself because I'm like, oh, they close at five. I'm going to get there before five. I figured once I'm there before five. I'm good, but I'm like definitely before 445. So I get there and I was at the back. I was by the parking lot because I went through the mall to get some AC. And when I got there, I saw on the door it says no entry after 430. It was 430 on the dot. And when the girl opened the door, it was 431. I'm like, damn, like it's literally 431 now. It's not like I could be like, oh, it was just 428. You wasn't paying attention. It was 431. So I was talking to him like, um, I'm from New York. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm not. Well, yes, I am actually. What well, yesterday I wouldn't have been. It would have been Sunday today, which is today. So I'm like, I'm from New York. I'm leaving tomorrow. I literally raced over here. I was trying to talk to the lady in the parking lot, but she was helping um, people because she was trying to. She was valeting cars and stuff. So I'm like, that's why it took me a little while to get over here. But I've basically been here. I would have been here prior to the 4:30 time slot, but I couldn't find my way or whatever. They're like, I know, but um, there's no, where's my lip balm? They were like, there's nobody there at the ticket counter to even give you a ticket. So I'm like, even if I buy it online, like I could buy it online. I was gonna buy it online, but I just wanted to come here and see, da 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 So I'm like, there's nobody you could talk to, like, cause I realized she worked for security, but she wasn't like top line security. <laughs> top flight security of the world credit. She wasn't like top flight security of the um, credit. So I was like, is there anyone I could talk to? So then I saw another security guard that was next to her and he looked like, looked like he was top flight, of, top flight security of the aquarium. So um, he was like, yeah, there's one at the counter. Um, I don't know, I'm sorry come back tomorrow I'm like that's the thing like I'm not gonna be here tomorrow I leave tomorrow he was like yeah I don't think that's gonna work because you know there's no one even to take you through and it closes in 30 minutes anyways I figured that once you're in there they can't necessarily kick you out you probably have like maybe 30 minutes grace he was like no at five like we talked you got they gotta go so I'm like at this point you're gonna be mad with me I know I love well if you don't know I love aquariums I always try to check out aquariums in different cities so I wasn't able to go to the one in Miami but I'll be back in Miami. This one, I'm like, you know, it's a little bit out of the way. I was like, let me just try. So, I told him I rushed through it. I have no problem rushing through it. So, he was like, mm, let me see what I can do. So, 
So he stepped back. I'm still outside looking like boo the fool. <laughs> I'm outside looking like boo the fool. I could drop the towel because I can't see it. <laughs> He came back and I saw him whispering to the girl. And I'm like, damn, he's about to duck me. Like, I was prepared for the duck. But he was like, you left something upstairs, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's like, all right, let's go get it. I said, period. So he walked me up to the aquarium, like literally personally walked me. And he's like, yeah, I got to personally walk you through. Just so they know or well, they think that you're going to get whatever you Getting or I guess so I could bypass the ticket counter basically. So I got up there. I'm like, thank you so much. He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is my guy. He's so funny. He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. We we going to get your stuff. I'm like, you right. <laughs> so I breezed through it. It wasn't a long. It wasn't a big aquarium. Yeah, it wasn't too big of an aquarium, but they do have an insectarium there as well. And I. I'm more interested in like the butterflies. I'm not opposed to like check out to checking. I wasn't opposed to checking out the insectarium if the time allotted, but I really just wanted to see the, the sharks. <laughs> I wanted to see the stingrays and the jellyfish and you know, they were right. So I breezed through it. There were a lot of people in there still. To be honest, like I see why he let me through because it wasn't like the place was empty. There were a lot of people in there. A lot of kids, a lot of kids. While we're on that, when I was in my Uber to the French market, the guy was like, I told him, I'm like, I want to see the aquarium. And he was like, where's the kids? And I'm like, what kids? He's like, you don't have no kids? I'm like, no, I am the kid. He's like, I hear that, sweet. <laughs> I'm like, no, sir, I'm always going to be a kid at heart. So that was funny. But after that, Cafe Beignet, French market. French market was cool. I didn't, I saw some stuff, but I didn't buy anything except for a bag. I'll show you guys that soon but i bought a bag because i needed to put that top that i decided to put on last minute when i told when i gave you guys my old tv yesterday i decided to put that top on last minute bad move bad 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 move so i took that off like it was breathable but there was no breeze for me to breathe so bad move that's why i say bad move and also this was cute in miami I felt it like breaking down just a little bit, but this, I don't know if this is the strongest one, this don't stand no chance in 100 degree weather, boo. Whole body deodorant, Lumi whole body deodorant, it stands no chance in this novelty. No chance, zero, zip, none. I should put some, it's a whole body, I should put some, might be TMI. I should put some under the tips today because yesterday the girls already know, especially you got them things on you. <laughs> you already know, like that's the first place you're gonna sweat. That is the first place you're gonna sweat. I don't think if I missed anything. Oh, when I, I went to Dini's, Dini's was cool. I had the barbecue shrimp and I had the seafood gumbo. Went so when I ordered, oh, and I had the hurricane. When I ordered the waitress was like, just let you know, like bar our barbecue shrimp is not traditional barbecue shrimp. It has nothing to do with barbecue, as a matter of fact. She's like, what it is, it's basically a herb um, butter sauce type of thing. Comes with French bread, that French bread slap. And, um, you know, you peel the shrimp off, it's head-on shrimp. You peel it, eat it, and dip the bread into the sauce. I'm like, all right, cool, I want to try it. I know Morrow's is really known for their barbecue shrimp I have to well I have reservations to go tomorrow if I make it I don't know we'll see because I leave tomorrow as well but um oh but um Dini's was decent I give it I, I give their but their um barbecue shrimp oh yeah who's paying for the least I give their barbecue shrimp maybe a I give them an 8 out, eight, 8 out of 10. It was decent. It was really good. That French red slap, 10 out of 10. The gumbo, it was a seafood gumbo with okra. Right? No. Yes, seafood gumbo with okra. I do not like okra. I mean, I haven't had okra in years, but the, my last recollection of okra, okra is it being slimy and just nasty. I know a lot of people like it. A lot of Caribbeans like it. A lot of Southerners like it. I didn't like it. But yesterday, I didn't taste the okra at all. So, it was the one in my book. The gumbo, I give it maybe like a... 7 out of 10 just because it wasn't like a traditional gumbo with the sausage and I stopped eating pork so I can't have that but I knew it was a seafood style but I didn't see anything but shrimp 
and the shrimp was a little overcooked because I'm sure it's sitting in that broth on that um, base but other than that it was it was good but um that hurricane you saw how big that hurricane was not even a buzz not even a tip <laughs> did I tip yesterday there was like no alcohol in there and she was like even another girl at the bar she was like I'm sorry did you put any alcohol in this you know black people are gonna be the first one to tell you there's something missing in this drink I have a shot or two and she was like yeah she literally listed out all the alcohols that were in her drink bred her right there at the bar but I didn't complain about it but it tastes good it just needed some rum so after that we came back we went to the, to the rooftop yeah so I views of the rooftop I was talking to some of the people up there they were cool we were talking about their, um, our experiences here in NOLA and um, the heat and all this other stuff and then I came down and it was chilling in here but I'm not gonna lie to you I did not sleep at all last night <laughs> I didn't sleep at all last night I think it's my head started to get to me in regards to like the history of here and the duppy them if you know you know the you yeah the woo people <laughs> i ain't even gonna say that name it's not what it be and it has something to do with those those people um yeah my head started to take me a little bit and i feel like i've just been overly anxious this entire trip even like flying here um but i'm fine like when i'm outside i feel fine i don't feel anxious or anything but um yeah last night one of my worst solo nights my first night when i slept in mexico city i was super anxious too i barely slept but last night i just felt like i was hearing that it was just too much going on last night child too much too much so oh i forgot to tell you guys some lady asked to take a picture of me at the bar yesterday she was there with her nephew it was just weird i wasn't sure if i should say yes or no I mean, maybe that's how YouTubers feel, but I feel like it's different when it's like a, your fan, like not your fan, but your community. When it's someone that you know supports you, watches your channel. It was just where she, she walked up to me and she startled me. She was like, hi. And I, right in my face, I was like, oh, hi. And I'm like real standoffish to a sense. I mean, if you meet me, you're like, oh, hey, I watch it. You just like, I'm going to be elated. But it was, I was thrown off guard because I was you know, sitting by myself eating dinner at the bar. And she came up to me, she was like, hi. And I'm like, uh, hi. <laughs> and she was like, you're so beautiful. I love your braids, who did them? Love your dress, you have a great figure. She was like, me and my nephew were looking at you and all this other stuff, can I take a picture? And like, I felt kind of, <laughs> I felt kind of weird. Like I'm putting these situations randomly where I don't expect to be. And I'm a very blunt person um, at times. So I don't want to just be like, no that's weird I, I mean i feel like i was too caught off guard to say no but um i was like yeah but i'm sure if she looks back at that picture she's gonna see how uncomfortable i was <laughs> Take care now. and in my head i'm like should i make this lady take a picture of me i'm here solo like i don't know what she's doing with this picture like you know you, yeah it's a lady and she's with her nephew but you can never be too careful you know what i'm saying you can never be too careful and i do want to film a video of like solo trip tips how to travel solo as a black girl or whatever the case may be I do want to do that just from my experience even though I'm not that experienced in it but I feel like I'm you know I'm experienced enough at this point um still have room to learn of course and room to grow but I do want to film one of those but I'm chatting it's 9 34 and I want to go to the botanical gardens today I want to get a snowball today I might be seeing a influencer friend of mine today and i have dinner today and i also would love to go back in the french street french market area i don't all these names are kind of similar i have to like really look at my map so i know exactly where i'm referring to but it has to do with french okay so either frenchman or frenchman market french one of those streets i want to go back in that area in that vicinity so let me get ready let me grab the dress i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing and then we'll do the ootd no makeup mommy today I ain't even finna play myself today. I'ma just pack that up. <laughs> I might do brows. Maybe I'll do brows. At most, rather, at most, I'll do brows and lip gloss. But that is it. So yeah, let's let's see. Close that door because I feel like you could hear the air outside. But who remembers this dress? If you're OG Triple S, you watch every single vlog. I bought this dress at Grand Market Bazaar. 
on 77th street like a bit huge thrift market i bought this dress and that's what we're wearing today i feel like it'd be perfect for the botanical gardens this would be a t2 with makeup but not in this nolan tea no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am let me tilt that down a little bit now that we're clothed it goes all the way down to the floor i would have loved to wear sandals with this but we're going to the botanical gardens i used to work at the botanical gardens in new york that was actually my first job where i held my first job and um that place is for walking okay so you need to ensure that you wear walkable shoes i think today i'm gonna um actually i said i might wear me i think i'm gonna wear I think I'm gonna do the Gucci Floral Gorgeous Gardenia in addition to a Miu Miu Twist, and that'll do it. Yeah, see, my camera still works. Like, granted, it's literally hanging on by the by one, literally one screw. Like, I have rubber band around it. And some lady yesterday, she was like, "Yeah, that is so cute. I want one." She was like, "I saw someone with a Fuji film camera, and I wanted." One, I should buy one for, during the, for the trip. And I was like, girl, <laughs> this is barely hanging on, but thank you. I think I wanted to wear these, but these is like heavy. Are, are these too much? I don't know. This is not doing what I needed to do, actually. Oh, what she wanted. Okay, I'm not opposed to these. But I feel like earrings like this, you must <laughs> do a little face. Like, I mean. This is alright. I'm gonna stack my bangles. That type of vibe. Stack them up. I brought all my jewelry and my little Fenty. This was from like a Fenty Trophy Wife collection. Yeah. I'm gonna put my watch on. This hand is gonna be rather bare. My ring. And things move that throw me off to my frame. Yeah, this is cute. I also have some I brought some things from Sephora. I got these samples some months ago from Jay. Jay worked at Sephora. If you guys tune in to my regular vlogs, you guys know that um whenever I'm in Sephora, I always check him. He gave me this edge control. Oh wow! I don't remember who it's from. Let's give it a try today. Oh, I think this might be nice. Not bad. It is a bit greasy though, but I think it could be because there's like some natural oils or essential oils or whatever in there. Superstar status. That should be a little better. As I mentioned, I'm just gonna do my brows. Because I can't bother. I cannot be bothered. I'm gonna go light on them or try. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I wanna try to grab something before I go to Botanical Gardens because I know the park and all that stuff is over there. And I know me, once I'm in a vicinity, I'm not gonna wanna leave till I come back. And I feel like. I'm going to be over there for a couple of hours, so I feel like I should eat prior, and I feel like that's what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I had plans to eat early, early, like, you know, after the swamp tour, but I literally sat outside for like 30 minutes, y'all, yeah, with other people. It wasn't just me looking out there looking dumb, waiting for the streetcar. And it wasn't until I got on the street car the second time, because after that I was just like, nah, this is too hot. And time's a wasting. I need to go to get food. I was going to Nola's Nola's Poor Boy. Nola's Poor Boys. I was like, time's a wasting. I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna call an Uber. Had I done that from the get, I would have been finished eating. I wasted all that time sitting down, waiting for that damn street car. I could have just taken an Uber, got something to eat from the get instead of wasting all that time so yeah today i would like to just go get food hopefully but the place that i want to go to i didn't 
I didn't see anything on open. I'm super paranoid here, and I don't like that for me. Um, I didn't see anything on open table. So, yeah. I'm just going to go and, well, I'm going to call before I go and hope that they could take me. Hold on, y'all. So I kind of requested to speak to maintenance, well, to um, have maintenance come and check something out. So I wasn't sure if they came. I heard people, but I know people are up right now. I don't remember if I put my SPF on, so let's do that. This is essential. This is the um, Shadow Clear Sunscreen Stick. And I'm gonna use the Super Group Glow Oil on my body. I need to wait for the um, lip sealer to set. But let me finish my little last minute stuff so we can get out the house. Cause so I feel like me being out here is kinda making me move slower and I'll be back. So I said every day I'm gonna give you guys a different angle. The house, so we're in the kitchen. So this dress is thrifted. I'm wearing my bag from Gucci. I'm wearing my Tom Ford shades. I bought them in Miami. Check out the last vlog. Earrings are from Shein. Bangles, Forever 21. One's from Boutique Thrifted Watch. And I'm wearing my ooh, Zara sandals. I'm actually gonna put on my sandals because we're walking today and we cannot walk in these for a long duration of time. So yeah, that's what we're wearing. And let's go. This battery's done, which is not great, but um, it'll be all right. Let's go. My aggravator is not the word. It's 10:24. Everything opens at 11. There's a place that's open. Um, I might just check it out because I can't. It's called the Ruby Slipper. Thank you. 
So we just got to the botanical gardens. I want to show you guys some of the architecture and the neighbor in the surrounding area. Oh, what is that? The sculpture garden is right there too. I'm so happy that everything is in the same vicinity. But let me check in, get my ticket and stuff, and I'll come back. <laughs> All right, let's go. $12, that ain't bad, because New York's is way more expensive. <laughs> Listen, I'm a real plant mom, so I, this, yeah, she, she finna get to work in here, baby. She finna get to work in here, but it is hot. Oh, the plants, the plants for me. Getting to work, tripod linked in my Amazon shop. Don't play with it. say this botanical gardens is absolutely beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I'm a lover of art in different forms botanical art or yeah I guess botanical art I don't know how to explain it but art of plants is one of them artist behind this garden is Enrique Alferez and he's from Mexico yeah I know I love Mexico City so I'm just excited about that but I'm reading a little bit about his biography and stuff um, very very interesting he was saying he said I love New Orleans the place is a good place but I have a he I've had a hell of a lot of difficulties because of ignorance it's not New Orleans though ignorance with power is everywhere which is very very true I definitely recommend I haven't even like really walked through it but I've been taking my pictures and stuff beautiful beautiful garden like literally gagging these trees are native to New Orleans. you guys saw them in the swamp but like if a part of my backyard could look like this and another part could look like Greece I would just be content with life <laughs> so beautiful but these are all the bronze pieces I was telling you guys about they're throughout all crafted by Mr. Enrique Emily oh yeah it's actually called the family zinc overcast stone this one is nice too la soladera definitely reminiscent of mexican culture can i walk this way it's beautiful in here and i'm literally walking with my tripod in hand because anywhere i see a spot that i want to snap snap shoot shoot i am living you hear me living living my face sweat <laughs> so happy I didn't put no more makeup on. Even my brows might be going by like two o'clock child, but beautiful. This I could sleep in here. It's beautiful. Minus the lizards, that's all for you. <laughs> but so beautiful. Like you must come here. Must. <laughs> what? Look at that monarch butterfly. What? Between the heat and the heat of this garden, like in here is fire. Definitely top five. Like it's so beautiful in here. Like a must. If you come here on a vacation, you come here on a famcation, you come here on a solo location, a girl's trip, a vibe. Like it's so pretty in here. Photo ops on 10 for sure. And just overall vibes. I was trying to catch a butterfly a while ago on my finger. Not that, I, not that I would like a butterfly to be on my finger. I feel like I'd be scared, but it's so pretty.
I feel like I've been teleported to Japan. When I say the artistry, thought behind curating this botanical gardens, I feel like the video is not even really depicting how the place looks. But it's truly gorgeous. Like, I feel like I've been transported or teleported to Japan. Like, what? A tropical oasis for real. Real life Japan teleportation. Like, I'm sweating in all areas, but the beauty makes me feel like it's all worth it, to be honest. And I don't sweat, so for me to not sweat and for me to be sweating this much, like all the food I ate, uh, you would have thought I gained so much weight, but to be honest, I already lost it. I lost it in <laughs> just by maneuvering through the city I, i've lost it. be for real i'm a sweaty mess let me get off the camera it's given nybg let's go see yeah this is how the train show is in new york during the holidays seems like they have this year round though i'm assuming these buildings are in and all throughout new orleans that would make sense So I'm at the sculpture garden. I'm not gonna share too much because I want you guys to come and check it out if you're here. Um, I don't wanna just give it all the way in the vlog, but um, oh, look at the love sign. That's from Philly. But um, after I'm gonna go to the Museum of Art and then probably go get something to eat back on the sides where I'm coming from and then maybe go home and shower. Um, and I do wanna go see the carousel bar, so. I don't know if I should do that before going home or not, but I'll update you guys. But let me check out the sculpture garden. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, tell me why I'm on the third floor. And when I was on the first floor, I sat down for a second because I was just so tired and hot. I'm on the third floor walking around and I just happened to like run my hand over one of my boobs, right? Riley TMI. Why am I missing a whole nipple, pack, nipple, nipple cover? And it's crazy because when I was sitting on the first floor, I felt something like drop to my waist, but I thought it was my waist beads. My, <laughs> I don't even want to go down there to see if it's down there, just sitting on the floor because what? I'm supposed to pick it up? I will. I don't even care. First of all, but it's just crazy. But this. <laughs> I'm on the third floor. This is where they have Art of Japan, and it's funny because in my school my class we were studying in japan i know a little a little japanese not not, not too crazy just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just just chill but um it's just interesting this floor has japanese art the first floor had some um religious art like christian christian art 
Um, and I think the second floor, I forgot what they said they have it down there. But I'm just, I started from the top, so I'm going to work my way down. But I need to go see if my nipple, <laughs> my nipple cover is down there, y'all. Because it has to be. It has to be, because it's not on me. <laughs> Wow, the intricacy is crazy. Okay, views, the cafe is down there. But look, you guys, in their park, they have these, I don't know what you would even call these, but you can ride on the ducks or the swans. Y'all see them right here? That's so cool, cute date idea. spot that I found it's called well do thank you I forgot what it's called it's some spot but they have a whole bunch of Chanelica vintage well oh, those are cute I don't know where the music is coming from, but it's nice. I'm walking to catch the streetcar, and then um, we're gonna go get Zena. So, yeah, I got like two things from Urban Outfitters. They were having a sale, 40% off sale, and I said, like, oh, period. So I got two things, so I'll show you guys those when we get home. But yeah, we need a shower and get ready for dinner. And it's supposed to rain while it's super overcast. It's 5.35, so we have a little time, but yeah. Head home, made the streetcar. Long time, fake. Okay, we're on the streetcar. Alright, so I know not the best 
the garbage bed, garbage can in the background. Not the best lighting. But um, I'm about to head back out. But I want to show you guys what I got from Urban. And I'll show you guys my outfit. This was just something that I packed. That was just like just an extra fit. Didn't really think too much about it. But it's fine. So first thing I picked up was this cargo drawstring skirt. Very trendy. They were at Zara for Wooly for money. And at Urban for a lot. These normally retail for $79. The tag, hold up. Tag said 39. I paid, let me get my receipt. You know I got proof. I paid 11.99 right here. I paid 11.99 and I have to fix my nail. So I got this skirt. I thought that it could be, it would be cute for like the end of summer. And I could probably even incorporate it in some fall looks for like sweaters and stuff. Because I honestly don't see this cargo trend going away anytime soon. Yeah, I honestly don't see this cargo trend going away anytime soon. And by the way, in New Orleans, you don't have to pay for bags. New York. Just know, I just know though that it's going to come here real soon though. It's going to it's gonna be rolling over to them real soon. They're going to have to start paying for these bags. But I did get a free urban outfit this bag. I miss those days. The nice bags, the nice free bags. The little plastic bags, like, you can keep that. But the nice bags, yeah. I also got this bag that I saw. Cute little mini bowling duffel type bag. And it has a removable strap. They had the black one. The black one is like a patent leather type material. This one gives more faux leather, vintage leather. Ve not vintage leather, sorry, vegan leather vibe top handle again removable strap and i like this little detailing you can adjust the um strap as well if you want it to be a little shorter i have a short body so you know i'm gonna modify it to fit yeah yeah so this one retails for 39 and as you can see it doesn't even have a red sticker on it but i saw the black one in sale and i was like okay the black one is on sale the white one gotta be on sale too i have another white bag i only have one white bag and it's my kurt geiger bag but it's way more classy this one gives like streetwear you can also like dress it up if you want to yeah it's cute um it has an inside pocket two inside pockets actually um so yeah it didn't have a red sticker on it sticker on it i was just like let me go to the register and see let me just see I paid I paid $5.99 for the bag right here $5.99 right here $5.99 so my total at Urban Outfitters today was $19.72 love that for me yeah I only got that I was gonna wear the bag with this outfit but I think I'm wearing these shoes well you guys will see my outfit I'm wearing these Sarah sandals so I feel like the other bag that I brought that I didn't even realize I brought, it was just inside of another bag, my yellow bag that I've been wearing. I realized this with me, so I was like, I'm just gonna wear that. So let me put y'all up on the other tripod, show you guys what I'm wearing, and then I'm gonna head out. It's currently like six, maybe like 6.30. Hold on. It's maybe like, it's around 6.30, 6.45. Yes, golden hour sun. But um, my reservation is for 7.45, but I'm gonna go a bit earlier. I realized I didn't check out Frenchman Street. <laughs> I went to the French market, but I didn't check out Frenchman Street, and apparently that's where all the jazz performers and stuff are. Even though I did get to listen to some jazz, it's like a nicer restaurant, nicer area where you know the jazz performers are. So I don't know if I'll head over there tonight. I don't know. It all depends on how I feel after I eat. But I do want to go back to the pool. But it was saying that we might get rain tonight, so I don't know. It says I'm supposed to have rain tomorrow as well. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go tomorrow in the day before i leave i don't know yet tomorrow i don't really have any tentative plans i do have um reservation for morrow's so i want to check that out before i left since that was one of the popular spots that people were raving about um but recap really quickly on today botanical love the noma museum was cute as well those snowballs snowballs snow cones snowballs i think that's what it's called slap 
flat and I think it's because the ice machine that they use really f f gets the ice really nice and fine there aren't any like ice not granules but there aren't any ice bits in your mouth like you know sometimes you eat a snow cone and you have that ice just floating around in your mouth like little beads of ice the machine that they have breaking down that ice 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 and then I mix the strawberry and the I think it was tropical something mix uh, but that's the snowball place that I recommend I actually found them on TikTok and I'm so happy that I actually went to that TikTok spot because that was really good I found um the breakfast spot we went to this morning on TikTok as well it was okay them grits needed big help big 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 help the sauce was nice for the shrimp and stuff it could have been a little thicker but the grits needed a lot of help the biscuits were good as well and the flights were good I only like two of the four though like really like two of the four three of the four three of the four the blue one they could have kept that but um let's see after that we went to the carousel bar so i was able to go there i didn't vlog really at all while i was there because the minute i pulled up in my uber i saw a guy wearing a bronx brewery shirt and i actually went to the bronx brewery i brought you guys with me i'm, I'm from the bronx i live in the bronx but i went to the bronx brewery um and when i saw him wearing the shirt as soon as i got out the uber i was like nice shirt i've been there or whatever i realized he had a british accent you know those my people so I was going in the bar minding my business while well, I was going in the hotel, the entrance of the hotel minding my business because it, it is a hotel where the carousel bar is. Right upstairs is a hotel. So um, I was going to the carousel bar and he was like, oh, the carousel bar is this way. The same guy with the Bronx brewery shirt. So I was about to be like, you know, I see it. I got it. That's just how I am. I'm very independent. Like, and I don't know. I feel like sometimes men feel like they have to be men, which is appreciate it but sometimes like just relax like i got this. i agree <laughs> but um that's just my personality though i've been trying to be a little bit more feminine but i think it's the new york in me in addition to me being so um pro independence and all that stuff i'm chatting my light is blinking so i went he was showing me where the bar was so i went to the bar and he was like oh you could take my seat luckily because there were no seats so I sat next to, I think that was his wife or girlfriend. We were chopping it up for a while. She told me she's from upstate New York, but she moved with him to London. Now I think they live in Italy. We were talking for a while about life, about careers, about a whole bunch of different things. I don't even think I caught her name. She caught mine though. She was telling me she loved my braids, my dress, yada, yada, yada. We were talking about Mexico City, whole bunch of stuff. But more of the story is be nice to people because you never know what they'll do for you. This guy gave me his seat at the bar that was packed and nobody was getting up, okay? Um, no one was getting up the drink was really strong I got um, that margarita it's like the only margarita on the menu but yeah you definitely check out the carousel bar as well it's really cute vibe aesthetic drinks are pricier than some of the other places I've been to in New Orleans but they make a good drink and the bar is oscillating so it's spinning while you're sitting there but nothing too crazy like you barely realize that you're going around um, but you realize like after a few drinks you're gonna realize for sure because the drinks is hitting and then after that um i went to urban outfitters walked down saw a few vintage shops popped in and then we went to urban outfitters and then i walked back to street car and came home got ready so let me show you guys my outfit well you know it's still blinking but we're gonna show you how the outfit and then we're gonna get out of here so yeah okay so really quick ootd again didn't really even plan this is just something quick okay but um top is from target skirt is from zara bag i got this in pr from seven mia it's just a cute see-through floral bag figured it worked with my sandals because my sandals are pink they're from zara and then i have justine clinkette on justine clinkette i didn't put on my bracelet or my rings i still have to fix my nail for perfume i put on the commodity gold all right here i got it from sephora I got it from Sephora one day when I ordered something and this is the one I really like, Commodity Gold. They're all different but this one is really nice, yeah? That's what I'm wearing for tonight. I like my New Orleans accent. It's probably terrible. You can tell me. But yeah, this is it. Alright, back to the old TD. Perfume, milk, commodity, commodity milk, gold. Yeah, that's what we're wearing. So yeah, let's go. Little monochromatic vibe with a little touch of color. Yeah, I have to tuck my beads in. I'm trying not to have them hang too low because then it's just gonna look like I have on some weird underwear. <laughs> but yeah, I can probably see it from the back, maybe a little bit of beads, but yeah. They go, we're gonna get tofu. Nolan's tofu. You know I can't go anywhere without getting a little bit of tofu. 
because I love Thai food. It speaks to my soul. So yeah, we're going to get Thai. So let's go. Seafood combo. It's good. <laughs> All right, so I left um, Sokotai and I didn't even realize that Frenchman Street was literally a block away. I don't know what I was looking up on my phone but I'm literally right on Franklin Street. I walked over here. So I'm vlogging on my phone because um, the waitress told me that a lot of locals over here and I'm by myself, it's nighttime. I know I don't even go outside at nighttime. I was gonna go home and go in the pool. But I was like, since I'm here, I might as well check it out. So yeah, we're on Frenchman Street. I do see some like, um, what's the quality of the, the tour, so yeah. First time hearing any of this. Maybe I'm on the right block. <laughs> As you can hear, there's a lot of music happening over here. I just am trying to find a good one to go to. Media. I thought, oh, it is a vagina. What are these? Hi. Good morning. Today is Monday and I leave today, y'all. My bags are packed. It's actually about to be time for checkout, but I want to come on here and you know let you guys know we were checking out. Last night I went to Frenchman Street. You guys saw I vlogged a little bit of that for you guys. Um, then I came home, packed a little bit more, and you know, just wind down for bed. So today we don't leave until we were supposed to leave at 7 30. They pushed our flight back till 9 30. Not happy about that. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to just stick around this area until then. I'm going to store my luggage downstairs at the front desk. Um, I'm happy that they offer that service, but I think here you have to pay an additional fee because it is like the hotel keeping it compared to like the sander. So um, yeah, I have reservation for morals at I believe 2.30, but I want to see if I could try to get something else light um, prior to that just to maximize, you know, the eats for the trip. So I might go to Brennan's, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna um, drop my stuff and then, you know, head to that side, um, French Market side, um, maybe like Royal Street and stuff. So yeah, I just want to check in. We're about to check out as you guys can see. So it's been a cute Canal Street. It hasn't really been that cute, but I don't, I don't know if I necessarily need to really get into that, but it was just like one day I got locked out 
this foolishness but um it's been cool so yeah i'll check in with you guys once we get outside but let me go check out first peace out So cool. Made it to Brennan's. That's what they have. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that, but that's cotton candy. They said that for somebody's birthday, they bring a whole pile of cotton candy with a cake underneath. I want it so badly. <laughs> So I ordered the oysters. I smell that cotton candy now, so that's crazy. I ordered the oysters and I also ordered grits because the bartender said that's his favorite. Um, so I'll let you guys know. And then I have reservations for 2.30 elsewhere. It's 11.39 now, so I'm just trying to maximize the day um, because our flight isn't until later. That cotton candy smells so good. Wow. Details, y'all see that bee? And this bread is so hot and nice. The French bread, wow. That's what I need to see. That's what I need Buying one, it's not that expensive, but oh, what cream! The grits. So these are broiled a bit and then served, or no? Oh, you mean the oysters? Mm -hmm. So what the chef does, he gets the half shell and he, he pours in some Creole tomato gravy. Mm -hmm. So imagine like a spicy marinara. Mm -hmm. Then he puts a little cornbread crumble on top of the half shell, and then they put them in the oven to bake. Mm -hmm. When so is the bacon. The cornbread crumble starts to soak up some of the tomato gravy mm -hmm. and it forms a firmer exterior around the oyster. Mm -hmm. So it makes it more of an abundant chew than, 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 uh, than instead of like that squishiness. Okay, that okay. Good. Yeah, it looks looks good. Dry. Sounds good. Thank you. Please enjoy. The loo is stunning. What is this? It's so pretty in here. Like this is a really nice spot for brunch. Honestly, I came here on not a whim, but like chill, quick meal, but really, really pretty. I'm gonna show you guys outside, engaged. This one is empty, vacant. Yeah, so cute. So cute. Look at the courtyard. The courtyard is so pretty. I saw some lady feeding something. So I was like, let me go see what they were feeding. And I think it's turtles. They're feeding them shrimp. Let's go check out the turtles. Um, this is a bit concerning because they have turtle soup on the menu. I was actually gonna get the turtle soup. I've had it in the past in Jamaica, but I've never had it in the United States. I wonder if these are the turtles <laughs> that they're using. Probably not. They probably keep some as pets and in order the other ones in for the restaurant but they're so cute they're so cute look at the steamboat you guys there's so many dragonflies over here it's crazy but they ain't mosquitoes so <laughs> i'm just gonna hold it down i was gonna sit right here but absolutely not it's too many <laughs> but um this is a option too if you're here you can get on a steamboat but um, i'm just gonna chill up here back by the mississippi river pouring outside as you can see I'm at the airport my flight was already delayed from this morning till 9.30 it was supposed to be 7.30 I'm hoping that I'm delayed again I need to go get some food but I'm here chilling so I want to just check in but this rain I know Katrina was no joke it was just raining like this on a regular day yeah. good morning beautiful people today is Tuesday I didn't get home till like 2 a.m 
this morning and there was no way I was coming back on the camera. I literally just woke up and I was woken up by family. I didn't even realize what time it was. It's now 12.38. I probably want to say I woke up at 12. I already started unpacking. If you know me, you know I unpack the minute I get in. But I was so tired yesterday. Nothing could happen except for sleep. So we are home from NOLA. I hope you guys have really, really enjoyed this vlog. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do a NOLA travel vlog. But you guys can leave all your questions down below. If I don't leave do the travel vlog, I will... Um, respond to the questions down below and if i do do the travel vlog i'll you know answer all the questions in that video so definitely drop some questions if you have any down below but i had a fun time in nola overall it was very um enlightening it was different it kind of reminded me of vegas just a little bit in regards to um the palm trees and everything with the with that southern flair of course but not like really giving vegas but just a little bit just a little bit but i loved all the oysters that i tried for the most part i loved the thai spot as well i love those snowballs those are really good but i had a good time i can see myself returning i don't know if i'll go on like a solo trip i feel like nola is really like a place to go with people even though i maximize my time while they're solo i feel like it would probably be better with someone but you know we had a time nonetheless we made the miss the best of our time while we we're there nonetheless but i did not get to go to morrow's yesterday after i made it to mississippi river i was just chilling i was so hot i was just like you know what no <laughs> and it looked like it was gonna rain as you guys saw it was pouring i thought my flight was gonna get delayed once again thank the lord it didn't thank god we were able to depart because i was ready to go home i was tired from being out all day and you guys know i couldn't like go back to my place because i had to check out at 11 so yeah we had a fun time i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog it might be up on thursday today's tuesday we'll just see how i could do with the editing because i'm still super uber tired but i'm gonna hope for thursday don't know how much footage we have but i have a lot of content i still have content from miami that i need to post in regards to tiktoks pictures so just bear with me <laughs> and then i have a ton of stuff from nola like i'm i need to edit nola's vlog but i'm still like of editing content from miami <laughs> so, <laughs> just bear with me but i hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below share this video with someone that is looking to go with to nola or someone that you want to go to nola with take to nola share this video with them be sure to also subscribe down below if you made it all if you made it all the way all the way through this vlog and i know this vlog was long as hell and you haven't subscribed as yet make sure you go and subscribe down below your <laughs> Make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you made it all the way to the end, comment these emojis. You can leave a purple heart, a green heart, or that symbol right there. I don't know what it's called, but I can't believe the whole time I was in NOLA. I didn't get to I didn't get to understand the meaning behind that sign, but that's their kind of like their not their flag, but that's like one of their symbols. Kind of like how New York has Statue of Liberty. Like that's how you represent New York. And an emoji, that's there so make sure you guys comment that if you made it all the way to the end of the video and make sure you guys are following me on instagram and on tiktok because the content is the content the content is coming okay it is coming so make sure you guys follow me over there i love you guys thank you guys so so much for watching this entire vlog i know that it was long don't know if it's in two parts or one but thank you so so much for sticking around for the entire vlog make sure you guys comment the, the emojis down below and until the next video don't know when that will be don't know what that will be but until the next video most likely on sunday i'll see you guys all later bye y'all love you